What's up guys? Uh, I'm Kelly and this is Kelly's Corner of Nightmares. Today we're going to be talking about something that's very cool and I would have loved to have seen this. E.T. would have almost had a horror sequel called Nocturnal Fears. It looks insane and I would have loved to see it, but it's never been made. So let's see why that is. All right, so I just want to put this out there. Steven Spielberg would have made a, a horror sequel to E.T. How awesome does that sound? This man doesn't even do sequels. Like, unless it's Indiana Jones or Jurassic Park. <laughs> all right, so to make sense of all of this, let's backtrack a little bit. So before this, we have Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, which later did over 300 million at the box office. So they wanted another movie in the same vein. Spielberg was set to direct Night Skies, a darker sci-fi flick, but it was canned. And some of the elements in this movie were set to use in E.T. E.T. was originally supposed to be a little bit darker anyway, but Spielberg seemed really set on making it more of a family-oriented movie, but it worked well, doing over $600 million on a $10 million budget. It was the studio that originally asked Spielberg to do a sequel to E.T., but to everyone's surprise, he actually said yes. So now we have Melissa Matheson, the writer of the first E.T., working with uh, Spielberg to create E.T. 2 Nocturnal Fears. Spielberg seemed very happy to talk about a uh, sequel and in interviews after E.T. came out. So why the hell hasn't this been made? So the aliens in this movie are very evil this time. You quickly learn these guys have been to war with E.T.'s civilization. Not only do these evil alien creatures have the power to paralyze you by a hypnotic hum, they're also fucking carnivorous. Also, these things are actually albino with pink eyes and razor sharp teeth ready to eat your ass up. Okay, now obviously this is getting pretty dark. So what about Elliot and his family? So Elliot is now dealing with his parents getting a divorce and he's also missing his buddy E.T. So he uses this machine from the last movie to pinpoint E.T. and finds out that he's actually on Earth. Except when him and his family arrive, it's not actually E.T. that's there. It's the evil creature things. So these aliens have taken Elliot and his family hostage, torturing them for more information about E.T. Elliot, who breaks down mentally, screams for help for E.T. So after the whole family gets thrown into a cell, E.T. finally comes to their rescue. But unfortunately, this is after they got brutally tortured to the point where their bodies are so exhausted and limp. So we're pretty much going from a PG to a hard PG-13 movie. Almost are depending on how bad the torture is. Wow, so this could have been a whole ass horror movie. Hell yeah! So even though the horror elements in this movie sound a bit tame compared to Nightmare on Elm Street or Friday the 13th, I totally would have seen this because it sounds a lot more dark and twisted than the original E.T. family-friendly movie. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and like and have a good day.